girls and boys, and welcome back to Kids on the Living Edge. It is so wonderful to be with you. I hope you're excited. You know, I forgot, we need to do our rules. Oh my goodness, how could I forget that? Here we go. Can you stand up? Excellent. Here we go. Love, listen, learn. Great job. So remember, when we love, we do what? We listen. And when we listen, we do what? We learn. And when we learn, we, we grow. And who are we going to be like? That's right. We are growing to be like Jesus. That's what God wants for all of us, is to follow Jesus. Well, boys and girls, this is week four, and we've been learning from the life of Job. You know, Job was a man that loved God and he feared God, which means that he followed God and he wanted to live a life that pleased him. Well, some bad things and some sad things happened to Job, but we're gonna find out how Job responded. So I hope you have your big listening ears on, your learning hat, and you are ready for Callie's World. Let's go. going on, I'm gonna have to take a minute. I woke up this morning and was going through my normal routine, and then I couldn't find my necklace. It's a necklace that my best friend gave me, and I love it! I told her I would never, ever lose it, and now I can't find it. I've searched high, and I've searched low. I'm beginning to wonder if it's just, just gone! Thanks for listening, friends. You are all the best. Anyway, I don't know what to do. I feel like I did everything I can do to find the necklace. Callie, did you try praying? Pray? Well, I know I talked to God about my big feelings when my grandma was sick, but that situation was a lot bigger than just losing a necklace. This is such a small problem. I probably shouldn't bother God with it. Right? What do you think, Joe? Well, okay, I'll give it a shot. God, um, I know you're really busy, but can you help me find my necklace? I know it's not a huge deal, but it really means a lot to me. Amen. I'm gonna keep looking while we hear today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. Job has been through a lot. He's lost everything. He had to come to God with big feelings about that. He talked to God and God answered him. Job was reminded that God saw the big picture and he, Job, didn't. But even though God is big and sees the big picture, it doesn't change the fact that God cares about every small thing in our lives. Even though Job was just one small person, like you and I, and couldn't see the big picture, God still heard his prayers and answered. God saw what Job was going through and took care of him. Job lived out the rest of his days a happy man and still a really good guy. God gave him even more things than he had before and surrounded him with family. In fact, the Bible says that Job was happier than he's ever been. God is big and sees the big picture. No problem is too small for God. Guess what, friends? I found it! I found it! I found my necklace! Wow! God actually heard me when I prayed about this? That's amazing! Thanks, God! This makes me want to... Do you want to help me celebrate with another Biggest and Smallest? Welcome to Biggest and Smallest with Callie. Did you know that the largest donut ever was a jelly donut weighing 1.7 tons, which was 16 feet wide and 16 inches high in the center? That's as big as a car! The world's smallest veggie is called the mankai. It's less than one-fifth of an inch. It's a superfood. That means it's super good for you, even though it's super small. God makes big donuts and tiny veggies. God 
cares about big things like my grandma in the hospital and small things like finding my lost necklace. God rocks! Today's big idea is no problem is too small for God. Can we say that together? No problem is too small for God. Is there something small that you haven't talked to God about because you think God won't care? Well, guess what? God does care! So you can pray about it and see just how much God cares about all the big things and small things in your life. Peace out, Tiger Scouts! Yeah! Wow, I'm so glad that Callie decided to pray and ask God to help her find her necklace. You know, sometimes we think God is only interested in helping us with the big things, right? Like apologizing when we've done something we shouldn't or whatever, or maybe helping us with a test at school. But you know, God is interested in the little things. You know, he's the same God who made the tiny ant and the humongous blue whale or the humongous elephant or the tiniest leaf. You know, God loves the little things, the details, and he's concerned about it all. So no problem is too small for God, right? You know, I think that sounds kind of like our big idea for today, which is no problem is too small for God. Boys and girls, when you have a problem, whether it's a big one or a small one, like your lost toy, God sees and he hears. So take a minute. Take a deep breath when you're upset. And if you can't find something, just ask God to help you. You can also ask a grown-up as well. Well, boys and girls, I hope that today, when we saw the story of Job, that you understood that God gave Job back a lot of what he lost. And that is so awesome, right? God loves to help you with all of your problems, big or small. Just ask him. He's generous. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. And I hope you come back, because you know what? We have an extra week. That's right. We have one more week of our big and small series. Come on back. I'll see you next time.